Hey guys, what is up? My name is Lannan and welcome to the Jersey Zone. So today I have a very, very, very exciting unboxing for you guys. This is probably the most excited I've ever been to do an unboxing. As you guys can see, my hair is pretty wet still because I literally just woke up, saw that the jersey was here, I took a shower, and I'm back down here, and I'm ready to record. I'm really, really excited for this jersey. This is the most excited I've ever been to open a jersey. This one, I was really, really excited to open, as well as that uh, Nashville one up there as well. But this one, I'm even more excited for. I cannot wait. It's a super, super rare jersey. I spent a lot of money on it, I won't lie. I do have two complaints about this jersey. Not about the jersey itself, but just kind of how it came. One I'll talk about at the end, and one I'm going to be talking about right now. As you guys can see, this is how the jersey came in this very small box. And I'm very, very, very worried, to be honest with you guys, that the crest is going to be creased and folded. I'm really, really afraid. That is my problem that I have with this jersey right now. So I'm really excited to open this jersey and really afraid to open it because if this jersey is ruined, I'm going to be so sad. So hopefully they did a really good job of packing it because if the crest is folded, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> I'll be super, super upset. So let's just jump right into it. Got my scissors here. I don't even know where to start with opening this. I'm just going to kind of cut in and hope for the best. Okay, so we got all the plastic off. Now I got to actually get all the tape off here. This is a quite well-packed jersey, that is good to say, but like I said, if it's not actually properly put in the packaging, I will be very upset. Okay, there we go. I finally got it all <laughs> opened up. I got it packed up like this, so you can't tell what it is. So let's take it out. Okay, so it seems like they did do a good job with actually putting it in properly. The logo doesn't feel like it's crested. So that's good. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys just a little bit here. Now, do you guys want to take a guess at what it is? You can probably take a guess to what team it is. And with it being such a rare jersey, you can probably guess what jersey it is. But let's just get it open right here. Oh, they actually put even a cardboard to behind the crest there to make sure that it actually stayed uh, flat. That's actually really nice. So I'm not as upset now about the packaging as I was in the first place. I was afraid of the packaging. I'm not that upset about the packaging now. They actually did a fairly good job at packing this jersey, so that's good. All right, so, <laughs> man, I'm so excited. So, here we go, here's the jersey. Yeah. <laughs> it is the Tampa Bay Lightning Storm jersey. Oh my God. <laughs> I am so, so happy that I have this jersey in my collection. Oh my god. Oh, I am so, so happy. Oh my god. I, <laughs> I am so happy that I have this jersey in my collection. You guys don't even know. I am just super ecstatic. This is one of the jerseys that I've wanted for a very, very long time. I've only found it in my size twice. Once, and the price was like $800 Canadian, and it was super damaged, super ruined. And with this one here, it looks to be in really good condition. The only flaw with it being that kind of little, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. Yeah, you kind of can. There's like a little thread that's a little bit loose, but other than that, like it is in quite good condition. I am so, so, so happy about this jersey. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't even know what else to say other than, man, like I'm just so excited. Like... I love the lightning bolts kind of on the side of the jersey here on the side of the arm, the ocean at the bottom, the waves, like it's just such a ridiculous jersey and I am just so, so excited that I finally have it in my collection. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that was the jersey there. Now on to like what I was saying here with my second complaint is the eBay global shipping program. I hate that thing, man. It sucks for Canadians. It is awful. Not only is the shipping way more expensive than pretty much anything else, it also feels like it takes way longer with the eBay global shipping program than it does pretty much anything else as well. And also every single time it gets past the border, I have no idea where it is anymore. It doesn't start tracking again until it is right basically out for delivery. The past few times that I've bought an item with the eBay global shipping program, it's hit the border, and then after it's hit the border and it says that it shipped from the border, I don't know where the item is until it is out for delivery and it's super frustrating. So I'm not a huge fan of the eBay global shipping program. I don't know if it's way easier for the seller to use the eBay global shipping program than it is just to regularly ship it out. 
but either way it is super super annoying and i absolutely hate it but yeah anyways that's just my mini rant about the ebay global shipping program i absolutely hate it it's super annoying and it's very frustrating. But yeah, anyways, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe for more unboxings. I have two more jerseys on the way, so I'll do unboxings when I get those. Also, make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter at the Jersey Zone YT on Instagram and at the Jersey Zone on Twitter. Links are in the description down below. But yeah, like I said, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.